Hi there. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I've been home the whole day. <clears throat> but I was not expecting my voice to be this hoarse. This is what I'm, this, I think this is the first time like, I'm speaking out loud today. But yes, it's the weekend. It's a Saturday. Uh, it's been a minute and then my hair is in this long-term protective style. I've had it for exactly two weeks now. It's just some cornrow braids. Some of you may have seen it in my Instagram stories. But anyways, <laughs> I can't do a hair video right now and yeah, I wasn't going to vlog anything because I'm just home this weekend bumming. But I still felt I could chat, you know, check in and have a kiki. <laughs> so... By the way, I have moved to a new town for my oldies who have been with me since 2017. I used to live in Chisamba, now I have moved to the east, now in Great East Road. I've been here for almost a month, like it's going on a month now, in, the, in Chongwe now. So, new town things. It's, it's still a small town, but yeah, it's quite nice here. So, I was quite busy with that for a while and actually quite stressed. <laughs> but now, like, but now I, I've settled and everything. Uh, I remember how I would talk about my neighbors <laughs> and their kids running up and down in my in my previous videos. I now live with a toddler. Imagine that, like the irony. Okay, she, she's not. Of course, she's not my toddler, but I do live with a toddler now. And yeah, right now, like I had to wait for her to fall asleep, so the house is really quiet. So I was like, oh, you know, this is. <laughs> An opportunity so that's why I'm filming so even if I'm whispering a bit because I don't want to wake her just in case she wakes up I mean I'm, I'm also taking advantage of this you know time but yeah uh, I have been okay for the most part aside from the move okay the moves just me out money and just yeah, <laughs> it was a lot and then my hair the last time I did a hair video I mentioned um, just wanting to treat my hair for eight weeks and deep condition it every weekend and just try and take good care of it and then not to do anything strenuous to it and I did that for eight weeks and to be honest it, it only took one week for it to bounce back like that wash day I had with the and Jackie's um, coconut cream recipes line it's a very long video I won't spend it here but just know that I had flat iron my hair and then a week later I did a re revision video and then I tested out the entire line on its own and for some reason my hair was really really dry I didn't like the way my, my hair felt so I decided to just take care of it for eight weeks plus I was coming out of a weave which I'd had for, for two months I was just like you know let me wash it baby it moisturize it you know weekly in fact for the moisturizing it was almost like every day or every other day and it worked and in case you're someone who watched that video I just wanted to note that on that particular day, first of all, it was cold, and then I rinsed my hair out with cold water because I was, in, instead of getting into the shower to rinse out the conditioner, I, I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> go into the shower twice, so I rinsed it out with cold water, like under, you know, like a tap instead of hot water. And I think that locked my hair, like my hair just locked up. like with my cuticles and then the product wasn't getting into it properly so maybe that's why my hair felt dry but then the following weekend like I shampooed my hair with warm water like I usually do I deep condition it with warm water so I, I rinsed out my deep conditioner with warm water and it just accepted the product of course I used like you know like a leave-in conditioner and oils and whatnot later but my hair bounced back like it was nice and you know <laughs> it's usual kind of fluffy self so that is you know a good line regardless and I actually think I want to make it my staple like out of all the Aunt Jackie's product lines I, I, I like the coconut cream recipes one and then in terms of content here <laughs> you guys okay first of all like being busy with life in general just made me abandon my YouTube channel for a while and then I had vlogs which I had done on the on, on, on a holiday I had gone for, I had so many videos and you know, content that I had saved up from that trip and I just, like I would post them sporadically and then it would take me ages to edit the next video and then I would put them up and I think the energy I had, you know, while I was editing that kind of transferred <laughs> 
to the response for it i don't know or maybe you guys just weren't here for it but i understand you know i totally understand and then even just my hair videos like i have been long-term protective styling for a while and to be honest once these come out next weekend at, 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 at the three week mark i'll have my hair out for a week and then i'm getting box braids like i've, I've already made the appointment and i'll keep those box braids in for another six weeks and i'll have my hair out for a bit and then i'll close off the hair with you know another long-term protective style so i couldn't really make content <laughs> and i just got to a point where i was like okay fine like i love vlogging i love making content for my youtube channel but i didn't have anything much new to say or anything new to do so i was like if i have nothing nice to say or nothing productive to do like i might as well not do anything at all and then I, I also had collaborations, a few collaborations lined up. And if they're watching is this, like, I apologize, ladies. Yeah. Moving to a new town and just being busy in general was the thing. And then even just, like, my, like, like my spirit wasn't in it. And that urgency wasn't there. And it's quite ironic because when I did that video about brands and collaborations and whatnot, I basically dissed people. With the kind of attitude that i have right now like where you commit to something and then you're taking your time <laughs> so i apologize ladies but yes i do have some collaborations lined up that i i should do that i should do i only managed one and it was because um it was one of those where i i, I could do it from my house like i didn't have to leave whereas with these ones I mean, we, we could do like, you know, like where I, I post something from my house and then she does something from her house and then we just send each other like the, the content. But I was like, you know what, if, we're, if, if, it's, if it's possible to do like, like a physical collaboration, like where we actually sit down together, like that would be better. Like let me not, you know, be complacent and whatnot. So yeah, the couple of collabs coming up, which hopefully next month, <laughs> next month again can do yeah and then with regards to you know my channel in general so everyone talks about a niche and that's something else that I want to talk about it everyone talks about how if you want to have a successful YouTube channel you, you you need to figure out what your niche is and you know service them like make content for them and in recent months or even just this year you guys my channel has been all over the place and i know that i actually know that and i've seen other youtubers right who i'm subscribed to who like like when i, I like when i found them <laughs> it was for a specific reason and then they just ventured off to do other things and then i, I either didn't watch those videos or i just unsubscribed like i've actually done that for example okay when, when i first big chopped you know when i first big chopped i would I had very short hair and I wanted, you know, to learn how to beat my face. I could beat my face every day to kind of match my short hair. And that's how I subscribed to a whole bunch of makeup artists. And then I now <laughs> accept the fact that I, like, I would never be that girl that beats her face every day. Like, I'm too lazy for that. It's like, it's like once in a while, you know, a special occasion, I'm going to be photographed type of scenario. I will put on makeup. So, for those, you know, YouTubers who only, only do makeup tutorials that they don't have much of a personality they, they, they don't do anything else i just gradually began to unsubscribe because i was like what's the point every time you post a new, a new video i'm not clicking on it and i also followed a whole bunch of fitness people at, at some point in my life i also had to unsubscribe and then i only kept those who do you know something else or people or those, or, or those that have a really nice personality that i've fallen in love with and then there's other youtubers where it's like I followed them for natural hair care or I just like their vlogs, I like their energy and they transform or they rebrand their channels into couples channels. <sighs> you guys. I know I sound bitter and petty for hating on couples channels but I'm like, <sighs> make, like make a separate YouTube channel. So yes, there have been a couple of people who've just transformed their channels into family channels, or couples channels, they do pranks and challenges. I'm like, I, I can't relate to this content, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> I've unsubscribed. 
and it's, it's only because like i know you know they, they aren't going to come back with the kind of content that i was into what i got into for and because i am a consumer or a watcher i was like let me look at my own channel you know let me look at my own channel i have this banner up that says i do hair I, like my, my channel is about hair beauty fashion and lifestyle and then this year i changed my I, I i changed my profile to just hair and lifestyle because fashion and beauty like have never been my things anyways but but that banner like like it's still up like if, if you check my twitter or my facebook or my youtube like that banner is still there that that shows all four and still like people who joined you know or who subscribed to my youtube channel and then that's something else that i want to talk about i have two videos that i because when i check my analytics you can actually see where your new subscribers are coming from and i have two very popular videos and guess what they're both from 2017 and that's something else very few new subscribers are coming from my new content or my recent content it's my old content that i was filming on a five megapixel camera <laughs> very very grainy and both of those videos were okay so one was how i relax my hair and i only did one video where i showed people how i relax my hair and then ironically that, that was actually the last time i ever relaxed my hair again like that video isn't even and when i say popular i mean in terms of views like it's, just, it's, it's, it's a video on my channel with the most views but it's not particularly popular like, like there aren't that many likes people just somehow find it and then they subscribe to it and i feel bad because i'm just like okay they found this video of me relaxing my hair but one it's two years old and now like, like i'm natural now so even though they subscribe and turn on their notifications a week later or a couple of weeks later i will post a new video and, and then they'll see that i have you know natural and don't subscribe so it's like null and void well some subscribe and then they hang around and then they keep seeing okay I, this is me just assuming because i'm you know a consumer too it's like where you subscribe to something but then all the new content that they're bringing up isn't something that you signed up for and then you just don't watch and then there's a second video which that one is not only popular like people actually like, like it has the most likes and the most engagement ever on my channel again it was it was from 2017 and it was one of those videos where like <laughs> I, I had cornrow braids in and back then like I, like I was very serious and consistent and I, I, and I just needed to have a video out that week and I decided to talk about how I buy stuff online and have it shipped to Zambia you guys like in fact, I, I called that channel, so I, I call that video the, the, the bread and butter of my channel because I get comments or even, and it's mostly DMs and emails of people, like every week someone will send me a DM asking how they can shop online. And it's been two years, you guys, it's been two years. The companies I mentioned probably don't even work like that anymore. Sometimes I, I get complaints saying you recommend a display, but you know, they, they don't do what you said. I'm like, it's been two years, you guys, like I'm constantly lying myself meaning like i'm constantly explaining myself in dm saying you guys like i wasn't paid for that video like i was literally just you know <laughs> i was literally just airing out you know my opinions or doing a review but yes people will subscribe to that content and then <laughs> they realize that i i didn't even know if they, if they realized that it's an, it's an old video and then i have new content that has nothing to do with that niche and even though it's the most popular video on, on my channel, I can't just scratch everything that I've been doing and be like, oh my goodness, there's a niche of Zambians who would love to see, you know, how to videos of how to get stuff, you know, from abroad shipped here and the like. But that was a by the way video. Like, I have no passion for that. So it's just very confusing. <laughs> and I don't know. It, it's something else that I've, I've, I've had to think about. Uh, sorry, my battery died. But yes, I was talking about finding a niche if you want to have a successful YouTube channel. So that was my dilemma, and how the like 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 the videos that have shown consistent growth despite the fact that they were made two years ago have to do with, deal with topics that aren't topics I can talk about. <laughs> one like natural hair, I can't do that anymore. And for the other one, like it like it just isn't you know my thing. I, I can't dedicate my channel to that so I just sat for a bit 
and wanted to regroup <laughs> and and here i am now and i think the last time i spoke about okay the last time i, I did a sit down it was a chitta chat the same brands video and i talked about how you know i love doing youtube and the only reason why i stay consistent the reason why i keep making videos is because i enjoy it and it's therapeutic when i started out to be honest yes i lived like alone 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 <laughs> And yes, like of course I would see my colleagues and clients during the day, like had human interaction. But as soon as I got home, it was just myself. And then there'd be some, there'd be weekends where, and to be honest, I'm I'm the, I'm the type of person who just enjoys being home by myself. Like I'd, I'd, I'd rather be indoors than outdoors. So yeah, starting a YouTube channel was just quite therapeutic. It kept me going. It kept me happy. Like making YouTube videos actually made me happy back then. And when I had less than 50 subscribers, I don't know, like just getting views, people commenting, I would interact and actually made friends with people on YouTube or just social media. And it was nice. It was a really good feeling, you know, just reaching out to people like all around the world. It was nice. And as years have gone by, you know, do I still feel the same way that I did when I started YouTube? To be honest, the answer is no. I mean, I still like it. But back then, he was like, oh my goodness, like, I'm so dedicated to this. I, I, I want to make a video every week. Whereas now, the fact that I can go months <laughs> without filming anything, like new and current, is a sign that I'm slowly beginning to outgrow the YouTube space, at least for myself. And yeah, I just wanted to be honest with you guys. <laughs> that I'm slowly beginning to out outgrow this, like I'm... I've found things that make me happy and you know other things that are that I find therapeutic and it's 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 not as serious as it used to be for me back in the day and also that you know like and like I'll keep mentioning my tw my 2017 videos with very very bad quality like it's really funny how like I would have videos back then less than 100 subscribers that would get you know considerable views and interaction whereas my new content now like i said when i check my my analytics i don't really have any new subscribers of course maybe some of you who are watching this have come and have found me in recent videos from 2019 but the bulk of my subs of my new subscribers come from very old videos and not my new content and i don't know like <laughs> it's, it's it's one of those things where yes back Back then, I, I would do it for myself, and, and also loving the interaction that I would get. And then now, it's like, I do it when I feel the need to do it. Like, I'm not as consistent as I used to be. And also, you know, the buddies that I would make. <laughs> like, like in fact, we interact on Instagram. Like, when I post a story or something, or, I, or the people that I'm friends with post stories, like, we chat. Like, it's a, like, like, like we have a good time and we keep in touch there. But on YouTube, I'm so sorry, I had to take a quick break. I did not realize how dusty or crusty my scalp looked like. I, I went to put some oil in it, like I apologize. All my days, I am so sorry. <laughs> but yes, where was I? L let me wrap this up. So I think I was talking about the friends I've made on uh, as, as, as my time being a YouTuber, like we do follow each other on Instagram, so I keep in touch there, and even just subscribers. Like, it may not be people who have YouTube channels, but even just people who are just subscribed, like, or friends on Instagram, we keep in touch. So, like, that need to be here on YouTube, like, like it's, it's it's slowly fading away. It really is slowly fading away. Yeah, and I, I didn't want to just, you know, take long gaps, because, by the way, I hate it when my faves do that. Cause, so, even though I'm no longer making content, I still watch YouTube videos, like I the people that I'm subscribed to, like, like even now, like as soon as I'm done doing this, I will open my, sorry, people making noise outside, I'll, I'll open, you know, my, my YouTube app and I'll watch videos for my subscription box, so I, I still watch videos, but for myself, it's not that serious. So what was I saying? <laughs> this person outside, did, like, like, like someone has just walked by my neighbor's house and I'm making noise, but yes, I don't like it when people you know just disappear with no explanation so i didn't want to do that you know 
I felt like I owed it to my subscribers. Like, let me just let you know, like, if if I'm offline, like, like if I don't post any new content for all, at least you know. And if it's, it's anyone who's going to worry, like, don't worry, I'm fine. But these, you know, are the reasons why I have taken a break. I I won't say I've left left because that's just like, 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 like you can't say you've left YouTube. And then two days later, you're back with the new video. Like that's embarrassing. But <laughs> let me just say that I'm, I'm taking a break. I will honor those collabs because I. By the way, the people I'm I'm doing collabs with, like, I like actually like like I like these ladies. Like I really do. And I I, I do want to honor the, that commitment and make content with them. Like for sure, for sure. Like, but but see, like they're like it's something that I actually have to do. You know what I mean? So I not have to do. But it's something that I want to do. Like I would, like I would love to meet these people. Some I've actually already met in real life, and just sit down and make something, you know, for for memory's sake, or even just content. So those collabs I would definitely do. But in terms of my own content, it's going to be a minute until I do anything new because, like I said, not your hair content. Like it's so saturated right now, and I don't think of anything new to add to this space in terms of natural hair care oh my days okay I, i'm not filming this again like i'm sorry if you can hear someone singing in the background that's my my, my my neighbor living her own best life i apologize but yes in terms of hair content i have nothing new to add to this in terms of vlogs i love those vlogs but it's mostly about me and my family and friends by the way i've been taking home videos taking lots of pictures in between these months that I haven't been around but it's something that you know I like, like I'm doing it for me like I enjoy it for myself and I don't have to put it on the internet so even vlogs like I don't think I'm going to edit anything that I will put up on the internet anytime soon unless I really feel the need to share so yeah <laughs> that's my explanation I love all of you guys <laughs> and yeah like I, I would be seeing you around um, I will, like my, my account will still be active, I'll be commenting on people's videos, you can, you can, you can follow me on Instagram for the sake of DMs, I, I don't post as much, but once in a while, like, you know, like I have a story or so, so, like we can keep in touch, so that's what I wanted to say, but this isn't like, like I said, I, I'm not deleting my YouTube channel, when, I, I, when something pops up, or I feel this need, or I, I don't know, like, like, like I get a whole bunch of ideas, and have like 50 videos lined up, I will come back and do that for you, but for now, it's not that serious <laughs> but yeah i i wanted to let you know that I, I i don't take you for granted like i really don't so i wanted to explain myself you know make it official and you know just just have this honest chat with you and yeah let me end my video here despite all the background noise on my crusty scalp <laughs> and i will see you around or I'll see you when i do those collaborations with very lovely ladies who honestly like i re like i would recommend their youtube channel so in fact let me just give them shout outs now <laughs> uh there's crown your main she she's doing amazing natural hair content and she, she she gets like bonus tips for me because she's a zambian youtuber who lives in zambia you know like so for someone like me who's you know a zambian youtuber who, who lives in zambia doing hair care videos like i I stand for crown your main so definitely check out her youtube channel and then there's naturally tasha she's also she also does natural hair videos i love you know the creative things that she does check out her youtube channel i think i i, I will leave links to the youtube channels underneath this video and there's um caro tlsc puri she also has a youtube channel i i, I will leave a link to each channel and, and she's also an author by the way she's an author so just check her out check check out her socials if you want to buy her books you know reach out so those are the three ladies who i'm supposed to do collabs with and the way i've said this now <laughs> maybe this is the actual collab who knows but we might do videos subsequently but yeah just in case you know things don't work out at least you know like i, I wanted to give them a shout out like that they're really good they're good people definitely check out their channels and subscribe and yeah i will end here <laughs> do take care and i will see you around bye